I started by talking about what's the purpose of prayer. The purpose of prayer, the primary purpose of prayer, I believe, is to get us to listen to God. And it's not about changing God's mind, but to change our minds and change our hearts. All right? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you trust in God, if you truly believe, if you're a person of faith, knowing that if God so loved you, as Scripture says, as Paul wrote in Romans 8, that he gave his only begotten son, he gave his son Jesus Christ, what good thing would he withhold from you? You don't have to go and convince God to be nice to you. Look at the cross. You don't have to convince God to be good to you. Look at the cross. You don't have to convince God to give you what you need. Look at the cross. The reasons for these studies is for us to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We have to get our mind in line with this scripture, right? You know, the apostle James, James wrote, the, the, the effective prayer of a righteous man availeth much, right? Yes. When can, your, when, when can you have that assurance that your prayers are effective? Well, again, it's right there. Yeah, you know, God's not leaving stuff to chance. No. He has given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. So he spoke through John. And in 1 John 5.14, it says, this is the confidence we ha which we have before him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If he hears us, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Mm -hmm. The purpose of prayer is to influence us. So we know what his will is. So we can pray in accordance with his will. We're going to look at, the, at the, what we call the Our Father. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at what is often and inaccurately called the Lord's Prayer because it's not the Lord's Prayer. No. Okay, this is the prayer he gave or the model of prayer he gave for the church. And this, I'm thinking, too, it's the attitude that we have to go into prayer with. It's always about attitude. Right. So it's an attitude of praise and worship. It's an attitude of repentance. And again, and it ends with the attitude of praise and the, worship. It's not, it's not a mistake that this teaching that we've been doing for weeks called the attitude of the righteous, mm -hmm. goes from purpose to praise to praise to power to perspective to perseverance and then and then to prayer. Because this is the good order of God. God yes. is a God of good order. Yes, he is. So if, if you've got all this other thing, all these other things lined up before you get to the prayer, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to have some powerful yeah. prayer. You're going to have a powerful oh, prayer life. See, yes. It's a truth. And God desires that you have a powerful prayer life. But I was going to say, you know, it's like the Lord's Prayer is very simple. The Lord's Prayer is not my will, but thy will be done. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that this is where that transformation of our minds is taking us. To where we're not seeking what's nicest for us, what's best. We're seeking God's will, that his will will be accomplished. Because you want to know something? He knows better than we do. Absolutely. All right. The prayer is for the Lord to influence us. Yes. It says in Isaiah 59, 1, that the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save. Neither is his ear so dull that it cannot hear. Mm -hmm. God hears you, okay? He's not far off and he's not deaf. Mm -hmm. Prayer doesn't need to be loud. I'm going to say this and I hope I don't offend you. It doesn't need to be King James. All right? It doesn't matter if you holler help or helpeth. You don't need microphones blasting. Not blasting, yes. <laughs> okay, so but that's the, what we want is to have a dynamic, powerful prayer life mm -hmm. so that we can be influenced by God and in turn go out and in, be an influence in the lives of other people. Okay? To encourage one another and to bring the good news to the lost. And it'll have power. There are different kinds of prayer, okay? And we're going to look at that. First of all, I mean, basically, and this is basic, you know, don't think I can teach everything here. 
I'm trying to encourage you and all of us to get into the Word, have conversations with the Lord, because it's the Spirit of God, the Spirit of truth is going to lead you into all truth. Give us understanding. This is, this is like a, a primer. You know, let's prime the pump and hopefully 